Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com making this video about US dollar index. So let's get started. This is the US dollar index weekly chart I made on last Saturday on the 28th October um, for my subscribers. So I made these charts and then I send it out so that they can trade accordingly. So now on this one, you can see that uh, the price was at 1753. And I've been telling all along that this is probably going to stop the up move. Uh, to the upside right so it's going to drop from there so several weeks we will just keep hitting this area and uh, you can see this mark here i made that the high of this candle and then it may try to go up again one more time to touch this 23 percent line and or somewhere there is going to make the turn so what happened uh yesterday uh, in fact today early um, in the morning time uh, we have uh, some uh, usd red news Right. So what really happened is the USD again started to get strong. So let me show you that chart. Uh, current chart is this. So you see, uh, my mark was from here to here. And then that's what happened. Uh, first came down a little bit, but then today again went up trying to go uh, to the upside, but then getting, uh, you know, a pullback a little bit. Right. Why is that? What is cooking here? What is happening with this uh, small area? Because this is a weekly chart, weekly candle, right? All of these are weekly candles. Yes, one week uh, uh, is represented by one single candle. So you can't really tell what is cooking here. But if you look at the smaller time frame, uh, things get much clearer. So for example, my 40-minute chart, the chart I made is this. This is the line here. It's like uh, 50, 1753. Then there's a number above it, 1784, and then 1827. Uh, you can see them one by one here. See, so 1874 and 1827. These are the highs of these weeks, right? These week, uh, week. And now we are doing just that. Yeah, we went up all the way to 1827. Now here, usually when the price is making turn from daily chart or weekly or monthly chart, usually it makes uh, some kind of pattern before dropping, right? Either if you, in terms of Elliott wave, uh, it will be making like wave one and two, followed by wave three, four, five to the downside. Or between wave one and two, it will make a harmonic pattern, either girtly or a bat, right? So here you can see clearly that this is what I draw here. So X, A, B, C, D is the harmonic pattern. And the pullback, the first pullback at B is at 61%. And then notice that the sec D pullback is at 78%. This represent this pattern here. You see that FIB XA first pullback at 61%, then C point could be anywhere in between A and B, and then D is at 78%. After that, it drops, right? If it is going to be a fair girdle, then it will drop to this high and then go up again, right? But if it is going to play out, as a girdle pattern, then it could be wave one ABC correction wave two, then it will go all the way down to 127 or 161 of wave one for wave C or three. <clears throat> so that's what's happening here right now. You can see uh, this one is a, a weekly chart. Uh, where the heck that chart go? Uh, this one. So we came from X8 nicely, uh, went back, uh, the first pullback exactly at 70, uh, 61%. Then we came down uh, to 11.4 percent line. Usually it is 23 percent line, right? But here we had a little more selling pressure, and that's why it came all the way down here. And then we went up again straight to 78 percent, completing a girdle pattern, right? So now I think that if we can stay below 1827, we should be dropping. This pattern should be working out, and we have a long way to go to the downside. When this happens, what will happen? This will happen. Right? So if this thing is start to go down, these uh, seven pairs will react to this USD. I mean, USD has these seven pairs. You know, your USD, pound USD, other USD, and new USD, where USD is on the right-hand side, these uh, pairs will be going to the upside. And the other three, UJ, UC, and UF, USD yen, USD CAD, USD franc, USD on the left-hand side, they will be going down. Right. So far, I got this one, um, not on this, you know, today, but, you know, a couple of days ago, because the idea is the same that, you know, we should be dropping. So I found this one, you know, USD yen, 
uh, and then on the uh, yesterday, right on the thirtieth October. But today it went up big time because of the news, uh, yen news, and yen start getting very very weak, and all yen pair went up, euro yen, uh, Aussie yen, pound yen. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so this one also USD yen went all the way to uh, very close to fifty one ninety area. Uh, but this one I got here based on the US dollar index, you know, right or wrong, but yeah, that's what it is. And then uh, you can see that, um, like I said, this one, the 40, is just started to drop below 1827, below the 78% well, is 1811. Uh, so if this thing is going to work out, you have so many opportunities in hand. Where the heck that thing go? Okay. Here. So all of these pairs will go in the same direction that I'm mentioning here. And you, all you got to do is to find your entry using your system or whatever the system you're using or mine or whatever. Uh, just, uh, you know, take your uh, entries and take a right with the with this uh, US dollar index going to the downside. So let's see if it will start to play out today. Today is Wednesday. It's going to be Wednesday. And then Thursday we have Friday, right? And we'll, let, let's see what happens in these three days. But I think that that turn is about to happen. And uh, be ready for that. All right. So this is just want to show and share with you guys. And uh, uh, let's get to uh, to the market now. It's almost like 12 p.m., uh, 11.43. And I'll be getting ready for the London session. All right. So talk to you. Hopefully talk to you guys. Uh, tomorrow I'll be um, uh, holding the, the webinar at 4 p.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> and then uh, we will discuss more uh, about these other patterns, all these uh, single um, uh, currency pairs, right? All of these pairs we, I'm going to be talking about uh, uh, in my webinar tomorrow. All the setups and everything I'll show. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the trading week. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get my videos as soon as I upload them. So you can take advantage of these uh, setups. All right. So bye and talk to you guys later.